This series will be about converting existing Vue.js application that was built with using JavaScript. To use TypeScript and the application that we're going to integrate TypeScript into will be the following application that was developed in another playlist. And the link to that playlist will be in this video description. And by the way, this application is available online by the address that you can see on the screen. And also the link to the repository with the whole source code of this application will be in this video description. And we're going to start preparing our environment. So I already have this application opened in my editor. And just because development of this application has started nearly half a year ago, lots of npm dependencies in here are deprecated. So the first step we're going to do is to actually update each of these dependencies. First of all, we're going to update this couple of production dependencies. Let's open up the terminal and in here run the command npm install and package names we would like to update. And what's really important in here is to actually add a suffix at latest to every dependency name. This way npm will download latest version of these dependencies. After the installation process completes, let's open up package.json once again. And now I'm going to run the same command, but for all these development dependencies. So basically, I'm going to quickly list all those dependencies names and add suffix at latest to every dependency name. And please note that here I'm also using flag dash d, which means that we are updating development dependencies. And right after the installation process completes, let's try to run the development server to make sure that our application actually works with updated dependencies. As you can see, after starting development server by running npm run dev, we see the address by which our application is available locally, and also we can see that the Vite version is 5, which is the latest one. And previously this application was using Vite version 3. So after opening this address in a browser, we can see our application. Looks like everything is working, and all these updated dependencies don't cause any issues. Next, to simplify the development process, as we're gonna be going through this course, I will install several helpful extensions that will simplify our development. First extension is called View Language Features, or Volar. This extension provides view support for VS Code, including syntax highlighting for .view files. As we can see now, .view file is properly highlighted. Next, to provide TypeScript support in view components, we're going to install another extension called TypeScript View Plugin. Let's click Install. And right after, we're going to install another extension also related to TypeScript, which is Pretty TypeScript Errors. And what this extension is going to do is it will actually format TypeScript errors and make them more readable. Because default TypeScript errors are not actually formatted in the best way. Later we're gonna see the effect of all these extensions as we're gonna be working on the code. And for now let's just continue installing extensions. Since this project uses Tailwind CSS as a CSS framework, let's install Tailwind CSS IntelliSense extension which provides support for Tailwind CSS inside VS Code. And now if we'll try to add Tailwind CSS class, we're gonna see such autocomplete with available Tailwind classes that we can select from. This is a very useful feature, especially to those who are not very familiar with Tailwind class names. Also, this project uses tool called ESLint, which is a static quality checker. And in order to see all ESLint errors right inside VS Code, we can install extension called ESLint. Let's click Install. And finally, to avoid formatting source files manually, we can install a formatter called Protier that is going to do all the formatting for us. And later, we're also going to define the keyboard shortcut, which is going to call this formatter and format files on demand. 
so all these extensions that have been just installed will be listed in the extensions.json file inside .vs code folder, but this folder is currently ignored by git, so let's open up .gitignore file and remove these two lines, and this way .vs code folder with some specific settings and key bindings that we are going to define later will be available on github and the link to the repository of this project will be in the video description. And by the way, if you'd like to see how this application was developed step by step, there will also be a link to the playlist in this video description.